We'll start with the heart first. Um, basically, <coughs> uh, this new special treatment is called Crimson and Pearl. It says right there. <coughs> ah, sorry. <coughs> basically, just your normal Baku Boost pack, except the sides are really shiny and reflective. Hopefully, you will not see my face like last time. Only at Target. And it's just Target colored. Back on red, white, limited edition. I uh, can't see that. Limited edition right there. So get them while you can because they'll be out of production soon. Normal background. And one of the things I personally like about this is my favorite team, as you all know, is the Oklahoma Sooners. <coughs> and they're. Um, Colors are crimson and cream, which is a white. So, Sooners colored Bakugan for the win. Yes. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's get into this baby. Huh. Where should I go in? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut out to open this thing. It's not like normal booster packs, it's like cardboard, so you get to get open it like this. It's gonna mess up the box really bad. Hmm. This like reflective shiny thing. Whoa! Shoo! Cards flying everywhere. The ability card is blue, no power level. Um, called Shield Smash. It says play during a battle where there is a gold gear. Add you power based on attribute. There's like Moon Girl, like just trying to scratch his ball form. Um, anyways, gives hundred to Chaos, hundred to Vetus. Shield Smash and the Snapsoid uh, character card. At at start of battle, that makes no sense. At start of battle, that's what the card says. At start of battle, players may swap their back gun with an unused Snapsoid. And ten the darkest, the crap. Two hundred twenty Aquas Snapsoids may actually be as Aquas. That seems fit. And here's the the heart. Another dark to add my collection. I'm still lacking the darkest one though, and that's the one I most want. Here he is. Awesome crimson colors. Crimson, awesome. It is G Power. Tail. Seven hundred seventy G's. Awesome. Oh, also. All of the Crimson and Pearl Bakugan are Pyrus. Pyrus, yuck. Wish I wouldn't do that, but what you gonna do? All the GI Bakugan have like super big magnets. Um, here's DNA code in the back area. And if you want to see Air Core, I guess I'll go get him to get into Battle Gear mode. Wing down, wing down, and then, well, the tail's already down. So he's like laying flat. Wow, his horns are like a grayish black. That's awesome. Pearl highlights. I wonder if you can like use this guy as a pearl back gun with like the ability to take the highlight bonus if you want. I don't know. But I'll go get that air cord. Here's my other Dahark, if you want to see, like, a comparison. So... There you go. And here's the Air Core. Dahark's main, uh, bow gear. They just go perfectly together. Oh, also, one more thing I gotta tell you. At Target, they now have, um, <coughs> Gadalian Vader's, um, combat sets with... Oh, there's Strike Flyer and Dark. 
Wow, I can't even remember the other ones. Oh yeah, Helix Dragonoid and Loom Growl. Yeah, no, yeah, no, Cordum. That's the other, there's four. And they have like the names of the new characters for the show. Yeah, check your <coughs> target for those also. And now I will get the other Crimson and Pearl Back to Boost Pack Strike Fire. <coughs> Only at Target, once again. Only findings at Target. Strike Flare is my least favorite of, out of all the um, Season 3 Bakugan Dalian Invaders. But you will see why I got this guy. You will have to see. I hate the way he looks in Monster Form with that disgusting blonde hair. Why? Why would you do that? He was looking really cool with like, the diamond on his head. And, but the, and they had the girly... Legolas blonde hair. So, I know where to how to open this thing now. Gotta go in in the back. Peel it all off. Crap. Hmm. Okay, I had to cut out the opening again because once again, I was having trouble. There's his reflective thing. You can see very clearly the ability card. Like, I can see the ability card in the pack before I open it because of this reflective thing. But, no instruction booklet. But here's the cards. Green Boil. No power level? Do not know what is that even the back of gun? I don't know. Uh play during battle against a Chaos or Aquas. You get the gate bonus one extra time as long as that gate bonus is not the highest one. So pretty useful. And the AVR character card, yes. 220 Subterra, so it's may have to be Subterra, yeah, you already know that. At Star Battle, players may swap their back on with an unused AVR, just like the Snapsoid. Ooh, AVR is sweet looking. He has like a devilish tail. He's the main, like, antagonist Subterra Bakugan. So, Strike Flyer time. Look at that, he already fell out of his bubble. There's a DNA code <coughs> on front. He has two manual feet. And for bow gear mode, you click down his wings. That seems to be the norm for all of them. Just click down their wings and sometimes their tail. Uh, no manual horn. And here comes the G power. Watch out. 800 G's, yes! This is the highest legal Bakugan with no rules attached, like the Special Evolution Bakugan. We'll tie with the highest with uh, Pyrus Helix Dragonoid, new Baku Boost Pack at Walmart. Yeah, 800 G is my strongest legal Bakugan. Pyrus. I had no Pyrus Bakugan over 700 G's, and now I have three with the ones I got today. Ah, uh, Strike Flyer. Let's see. I do not like how he closes. Everything just kind of gets crammed in. But again, he's in the awesome, awesome, awesome Crimson and Pearl. Special treatment. Only available at Target. And Pyrus, of course. All of them are. There's his transformation. So to close, just form the wings and push the tail inward. Crammed in there. Don't really like it. So, big score for me. I my area was lacking Baku Boost packs forever, and finally Target pulled through for me with Strike Flyer, the Heart, and. The amazingly cool Phosphos.
for all umpires. And see you next time.